guys welcome back to my channel so for today's tutorial we're going to be using this lovely palette right here this is the Jaclyn Hill palette if you haven't seen it or been living under a rock this palette is highly popular right now and I wanted to do my take on how I play around with this palette and I created this halo look for you so first I started by blending silk cream into my upper crease of my eye as a transition shade and then I'm building up the halo look doing the inner and outer corner of the eye avoiding the center eye because that's where we want to put the shimmer shade and the lighter color to create that sort of halo effect so like you've seen in other tutorials of mine we like to build up color and then blend it out blending is key in any look especially these type of looks where you're creating a halo eye that way the inner corner and the outer corner blend seamlessly into that center part without any harsh lines. So I wanted to do a straight tutorial on this video. I didn't want to do a swatch video or you know really talk about the palette that much just because there's so much out there about this palette already that if you're curious about it then go ahead and find some other swatch videos. But I just wanted to show you how I use this palette and the performance of it. So then I'm going to take the color Enchanted real quick and build up that outer and inner corner the same way we did with Central Park. So one thing I quickly want to say about this palette is that I am I really think it is living up to the hype. It is very pigmented, it is very pretty, but the little sheet that came with it that has all the color names on it, we only got one. Me and my sister ordered this together and we only got one of these sheets and it is so small compared to the ones you see on the PR packages so that was kind of a bummer that we only got one but I've seen that if you reach out to them like on Twitter they'll send you one I don't know if they've actually sent people one but um, that was one of the bummer things about this palette for me so now I'm gonna take the shade Diva and apply it to the center of my eye I wet my brush a little bit with some primer water or some setting spray, whatever you have, and this just makes the color stand out a little bit more, but this color on its own does a good job at standing out. So then in a little bit, I will take the shade Enchanted and deepen up the outer and inner corner of my eye and blend that together. So once you are all done, I wanted to kind of transition all this together. So I'm going to pick up the shade Buns and blend that up on the upper part of my eye and blend that towards my eyebrow. And then I'm going to take the shade In Light and add that as a highlighter up on my brow bone. So then I wanted this look to be very dark and dramatic so of course I'm going to add some liner up on the top. I'm doing a cat eye and then I will be lining my lower lash line as well and very intensifying lower lash line because I wanted it to be so bold and dramatic. I'm using the Tardiest um, Double Take Pencil. It's the gel, the liner and the pencil. Um, I really like this one. It lasts a while because I was using the Kat Von D one before, but this one um, holds up to that one because it doesn't crease on the upper part of my lid. So I've been enjoying that. So once I blend that out on my lower lash line, I'm going to get like a definer brush, a pen, like a flat angled brush, and take the shade Enchanted and put it on my lower lash line as well just to further smoke this out. And then I'll also take the shade Diva to, on the inner corner of my eye and a little bit past the center just so it can all tie together.
So once you are satisfied and you've smoked out that lower lash line, I'm going to quickly off camera pop on some falsies. I'm using the Blinking Butte Samantha Lashes. These are so pretty. They're so comfortable. For my highlight, I'm going to do some custom enhancer drops first to lay the foundation. I'm using the shade Sunlight and then sticking with the theme of this video, I'm going to take the Becca Jacqueline. Oh my god, the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop and apply it on my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. And don't worry, I know my nose contour looks really harsh right now and probably throughout the whole video. I tried contouring my nose a little bit different. I'm still kind of learning, um, but in a little bit I will blend it out and it'll look so much better as you saw in the intro. You can't really tell. So don't worry, don't read me. I will blend that out and I will not leave it like that. So once I blend out that highlight because it's a little bit intense, I'm going to take the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Paradise or Volume Paradise, the new L'Oreal one that everybody's raving about that in like the little pink packaging and do my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Lip Liner in Trendsetter and I use this to kind of contour my lips and this has helped like my lips look a little bit more fuller and pouty. And I do slightly overdraw my lips. I go a little bit below where my natural lip line is. And this has helped to like my lips look a little bit more bigger as you see in the thumbnail. So then once I apply that and I'm satisfied, I will go up on the top lip and kind of contour that as well as you see here. So then I'm going to be taking the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. I want to say this is Celebrity Skin and apply that to my lips. I feel like the contrast between the dark lip liner and the light lipstick like helps enhance my lips and look a little bit more fuller. So once you are done applying your lipstick, this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much when you thumbs up my video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. That helps me out so much as well. And thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you later. Bye, friends.